Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. And I'm Stephanie. And if you enjoy our show, please like and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. We're also on Instagram at Sidley Twins, and you can also find us on Twitter X. I think I'm going to start saying X. Don't. Well, because of Twitter X last night, uh, we were informed that, <laughs> well, actually, we first saw the raid. P. Diddy's homes, his Miami home and his uh, Beverly Angeles. Hills home, were raided. There's been rumblings throughout Hollywood for years. This isn't the first time it's been brought up. So it really didn't surprise me. I didn't know the severity of it. I still don't know. A lot of this is speculation. They haven't formally charged Puff Daddy. He I still diddy. call him Puff Daddy. Diddy. His name is Sean Combs. But uh he wants you to call him Diddy now. First <laughs> it was like Puff Daddy, then it was Puffy. Now I, I believe call it's Diddy. Him, people call him whatever they want. Yeah, though. they it's call him whatever like, the hell they want. Yeah, Sean Diddy Combs. Sean Diddy Combs. <laughs> I was never really a huge fan because I was more on the uh, Tupac side. What about you, Steph? I just met him one time. I met him at uh, Jada Pickett Smith's 30th birthday party. Yeah. And he was with uh, Jennifer Lopez. They were dating at the time. I met him one time. Very briefly, yeah, and he, and he seemed very nice. He didn't. He know. didn't do anything. No, to you. no. he didn't proposition. No, you in not any way. at all. I would. I would trust me. I'd let you know. <laughs> so Homeland Security raids his home. It's all over the news yesterday, and I'm thinking it's over. I then see this court document floating around X, and it has Prince Harry's name on it, and I'm thinking, is this real? But then there is a link to this 73 page document that is from the government and it is an actual court document. Now, this has nothing to do with the raid. OK, let me say this. This has nothing to do with Homeland Security's raid on Diddy. But this does shed some light on some stuff that was going on with Diddy. Diddy's ex-producer, friend, whatever, is suing him for $30 million. This is coming from the mail. Richard Eden put this up earlier. Prince Harry is dragged into bombshell 30 million lawsuit against Sean Diddy Combs, producer suing rapper over sex trafficking parties, says stars access to the Duke of Sussex and other celebrities boosted his legitimacy as his mansions are raided. No, I don't think Diddy needed to boost his legitimacy. I didn't think he needed all this, but apparently he did. Wow. I mean, I don't know. I of course you do. It's Prince very, Harry, very Epstein esque. You have to, you have to sell your brand, and that's what he was selling, man. Mm -hmm. Apparently, these well, allegedly. If you guys want to read the entire Daily Mail article, you can. I'll put the link in the description below. I'm not going to read the whole thing. And because all, all, all the 73 pages are are yeah. online too. Prince Harry's name appears in U.S. court documents related to a 30 million lawsuit claiming that Sean Diddy Combs is a S.A. of men and women. Record producer Rodney Lilrod, I know him as Lilrod, Jones, filed the bombshell lawsuit against Diddy and claims that his affiliation to the Duke of Sussex and other stars gave him and his associates legitimacy. The court documents filed in the U.S. last month do not suggest any wrongdoing on Prince Harry's part. He is not a defendant and is named once in the 73-page document, Mail Online, has asked the Duke of Sussex to comment. Of course, he has not. What's interesting about this document is it says, affiliation with and or sponsorship of Mr. Combs, ST parties, gamer legitimacy and access to celebrities such as famous athletes, political figures, artists, musicians, and international dignitaries like British royal Prince Harry. Now, what's interesting about calling Prince Harry out is they could have just said, and dignitaries like the royal family and left it at that. Or members of, of the, the royal, royal family. family. I don't, or why didn't they mention an athlete? Why didn't they mention a political figure? Or an artist or a musician. It's just so interesting why they would put out Prince Harry. 
Now, you got to understand there's a connection between the Kardashians, Diddy, WME, and Megan. Yes. Now, we have speculated, and this is all speculation at this point, okay? This is all allegedly. This is our opinion. This is coming from our brains. No Nobody audience. else's. We did not hear this from anyone. This is just kind of like theorizing, okay? Megan's got to launch this uh, American Riviera Orchard, whatever it is. Okay, she's got to launch it, whether yeah. she likes it or not. Okay, I'm sure she is throwing dishes and freaking out right now in Montecito over the tragic Culver news. City, Culver City, <laughs> um, over the tragic news of what's happened to our dear, beautiful Princess Catherine, because it's taking away the limelight from Megan. And I'm going to say it. I'm sure Megan is not happy about this news. And I'm going to say this, too, because this is my opinion. I think Megan wishes it was her. I do. And there, I said it. And uh, and it's bad for her brand. So this is the thing. I believe there was going to be an Easter launch mm -hmm. either way because she wanted to get out in front of the royal family doing those Easter pictures and that Easter walk yes. that they do every year. And I think in her head, because Harry and Meghan had no idea, no, no idea this was going on. They were completely blindsided. Duh, they the were palace concerned. announcement said that Prince Catherine was coming back after Easter. And we were all fine with that. We were great. Well, some of us were fine with that. But it. that's when they <laughs> thought she was coming back, too. So the perfect time to launch yeah. your crappy website would be Easter. Yeah. So this is what I, I think might be going on by them putting them last month into the filings, okay? Megan is laying the foundation to distance herself from Harry. And she's using her connections with WME, who's using their connections with Kardashians, who has connections with that world, with Little Rod. They know Little Rod. They know Diddy. They know everybody. You can say what you want about Little Rod, but he's he's all friends with them. He is. I don't know why he's suing for this 30 million. I don't know what's going on. All of a sudden, everyone's throwing Diddy under the bus. So some, something bad is going to happen. But you're going to find out later that the Kardashians had nothing to do with this. Oh, they didn't know. OK, so here's our our proof that the Kardashians are all involved with even Tyler Perry. They mention it in this clip. But uh, I'd also like to remind everyone, Corey Gamble, Kris Jenner's boyfriend, has said repeatedly that he grew up with P. Diddy, and he is the uncle, the honorary uncle of Diddy's children. That's pretty close. Yeah, that's, that's pretty, pretty close. close. I mean, if you if you if you're calling someone your uncle, yeah, I would think that you you're in that world. Yeah, and that's what scares me. Like, what was he doing on a ski trip with Harry? Like, what more collateral did they get on that guy? Terrifying. It's, it's terrifying. But you know, they did. So here's our clip from Kardashians. They're talking about wanting to buy their own airplane. We got a family aircraft. Yeah, we did. Kardashian Aviation. Oh. Yes, can we get? I want a 787, John Travolta style. Hemp it out. We have thirty million dollars. We need a five million dollar aircraft. We need the money. So every I we just want to have million. Million. Tyler Perry offered to sell me his plane. Wait, excuse me. We're going to get a seven eighty seven. We're gonna put beds we in it. We should get a Challenger. When I play with Puff, Puff has a whole back, it's a bedroom, it's a bed. I need to stop, really. I do. Oh my God. So when she referred to Puff, that was referring to Diddy, Sean Combs. He's got a big bedroom in the back yeah, of that plane. So, and this, they've been they've been friends for years. You can just look it up, Google it. They're, he's He goes to their uh, Christmas Eve parties. So. And even more so after Corey Gamble got into the mix. Again, you don't call someone Uncle Corey if you're not yeah. in that family. So there was a reason Harry's name was put on there, my opinion. My opinion, allegedly. I think there's a reason he was singled out. I think Megan does need to distance herself from Harry in order to distance herself from the royal family. Because now every time Megan puts out a product or she tries to launch uh, this this stupid uh, lifestyle brand, whatever it is, um, if she tries to launch it, it's going to be tied into how dare she do that how dare with her sister-in-law. How dare you? Sick with cancer and 
her father-in-law sick with cancer. It's all going to be tied. If she gets rid of Harry and she makes him look like the villain, she's going to have a better chance at selling her crap. She's not going to have a good chance. It's not going to be positive. It's not going to, it's not going to do well, but she's willing to go this far. Dumping Harry's going to be the least of her worries. She doesn't care about that. She has a better survival rate. Her survival rate, exactly. She was like calculating it in yeah. her brain. Now that's our opinion again. Uh, it's yours. I have a different uh, theory about this. Let's hear it real quick. I believe that if you're going to name names in a court filing like that, um, you're, uh, it's a little, it's a little too comfortable. It's almost like, it's almost like, I feel like they were at a party or something and, and they were shopping around the idea. Hey man, like, you know, you know, I'm doing this, uh, with X, Y, and Z, you know, maybe you could be a part of that sometime. And I bet Harry was like, sure, no problem. You yeah. know? And that's why he was named. Harry has admitted to being part of that clique. He's going on ski trips with Corey Gamble. She's hanging out with the Kardashians at the Beyonce concerts. We all know that they're in that well, world. And Tyler Perry. And, yeah. and, and Courtney Cox. He's hanging out doing mushrooms at Courtney Cox's house. They're all in that world. So it wouldn't be the weirdest thing for that producer guy to, yes, file that lawsuit and then name a name that possibly that really did happen where Harry was like, sure, I'll, I'll hook that up for you. Well, or else, the, yeah. pro, the thing about Epstein, it's access. the thing about Epstein, and we have to remember the, the Ep Epstein case at the beginning of the, all that rigmarole, listen, Kevin Spacey uh, was named out of that. And we all know how Kevin Spacey got to the throne room and took that picture. If you promise people access to things like that, they're going to want to join that club. Mm -hmm. And Prince Harry at one time had a hot name. Yeah. I would want to hang That's out with the Prince thing. Harry. Like he, sure. was, he was selling access. Access and I to think, people yeah. and places and, I and things. I think that's what they thought they could do by planting Megan inside that family yep. was give access. I'm sure the Marcus Andersons of the world and all those other people thought this was going to give us access into this world. And it just didn't work. It didn't work. Their plan didn't work. And Harry is turning out to be a dud. That's the thing. Harry's turning out to be no. Well, they well, they weren't able to infiltrate the royal family. Exactly. They tried, but yeah. it didn't work. So Sussex squad, oh God, keeps bringing up this picture. This is so silly. Prince William and Prince Harry be P. Diddy and Kanye West at an after concert party. The princes hosted to thank all who took part in the concert for Diana at Wembley Stadium in 2007. Now they're putting this picture out everywhere. First of all, the fact that Prince William got to hang out with Kanye during his college dropout era is so freaking badass and epic. Oh my freaking God, I would die. I love that. Yeah. So this is not a big deal, guys. Everyone's like, well, Prince William was involved too. No, he wasn't. Look at the body language. I feel like the Sussex squad are burying themselves even more with pictures like this. Because I know. you can just, you can feel what's going on. Yeah. Prince William has class. Yeah. He's just showing like, you know, I'm a gracious person and yeah. I'll, I'll, you know, my mom's a uh, tribute show and blah, blah, yeah. blah. This is what Sussex Squad needs to worry about more than anything. We all know that Eugenie was the uh, link to Megan, not necessarily the link, but Stephanie and I have made a video about this, how we think that Marcus Anderson had something on Eugenie and Harry at the same time. And that's why they were all hanging out together. I so there's a reason why she's hanging out with Diddy on this yacht. I mean, I really do believe that Megan was involved in this sort of uh, 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 girls meeting guys. Epstein S stuff. Yes. Now, allegedly. Yes. Allegedly. I, I mean, I, I agree that Eugenie was probably wrapped up in something, um, but I still believe that Eugenie took a bullet for her dad. I really do. I, 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 think I don't that, think so. I just, I feel like collateral is so, we have to remember collateral is so important in this kind of stuff. Colts love to blackmail. Um, listen, Prince, you, you guys can say whatever you want. Um, Prince Andrew, of course, never sold out his family, but Prince Andrew did hang out with Epstein. He was friends with him and he did gain Epstein access into things that he should not have been That's what I'm having saying. access I think, to. I, so God forbid that that Diddy, you know, and Epstein were in any way linked. God forbid, because that is horrible stuff. 
Um, again, you're. Innocent. I think we're going to find out. We're allegedly, find out. that this probably is a link. Yeah, but I'm just saying, blackmail is a huge part of of these these cults and this SA world. So we have to be we have to be vigilant and we have to stay focused on that. So whatever they were a part of. Hope I don't it know. wasn't an it's, Epstein it's, thing, man. It's not looking good. Today's animal rescue is Treasure Forever Animal Rescue. They are a foster-based nonprofit all the way in New Jersey, and they find homes for dogs and cats who are in high kill shelters. These guys are really like the silent heroes. They're the ones pulling them out of the shelters and putting them in with foster families and waiting for their forever homes. So, uh, and they spell it fur. That's what I liked. Treasure fur. F U R forever, forever. So yeah. So take a look at them. I'll put their link in the description below. We would really appreciate it. Thanks guys. Well, more on this one. Yeah, I'm sure it's not going away anytime soon. Nope. Woo! And putting Harry's name in that just uh, ignited a fire. Yeah. You're not going to be able to put out. Not good for him. All right. So, all right, guys. We will see you soon. Bye, guys. Love you.